I didn't read this intro so many times. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesdays with Benny Beauty by Brie and Care Embodied. So today, this video is for my fellow, fellow overthinkers, my people who struggle to stay present, who struggle to get out your head and just live and be in right now. So, um... I have always been an overthinker my entire life. I've been an overthinker. I still overthink now. And um, as of lately, which will make me want to turn tune into this video, I've been struggling to stay present. Like, I don't even want to say stay present, but yeah, just stay present. And like, just connected to my body. Like, because a lot of times I be feeling like I'm just here, but I'm not in this if that makes sense like i don't if you get what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying but um yeah it just um i've also i also have the ability to think myself into moods whether that's a good mood whether that's a bad mood i could literally think myself into certain moods like creating fake scenarios in my head replaying stuff that actually happened or, you know, creating stuff in my brain. Like, I have a very active, very, very active imagination and very active mind. And I know I'm not the only person who does that. So, it's like, if you overthink and, you know, that that's starting to alter um, how you feel as far as being present, being connected to your body, being connected to your feelings, being connected to your environment, then you need to, you know, try to find ways to bring yourself back here. So, with that being said... I know for a fact I'm not the only person who, you know, this is a problem for. But I have learned certain ways to help me when I'm in my head too much, stuck in my head, or if I'm feeling disconnected from my actual physical body, my actual physical vessel. So the first thing, uh, the main thing really, is if you stuck in a cycle of thinking about something, or not feeling present you want to engage your physical body like just touch anything well i don't even want to say touch anything touch yourself and like hold your hand massage your feet rub your scalp um you know like just think about how you would show affection to a baby or a little kid you know i know you can't rub your back for real but you can reach right here you know just rub your back and give yourself a little you know a little a little love but engaging your physical body helps to bring you back from out of your mind bring you back to the present bring you back here because you're engaging your sense of touch so your sense of touch is the main thing that helps connect you to all of your uh, senses help connect you your being your body your spirit to the external world that we live in but the sense of touch is really like the main factor because when I was trying to find some type of um like literature regarding this one thing I saw was you could lose your other senses you know like you could lose your um you could go blind or just temporarily you know not be able to see you're still gonna be able to feel you could be sick lose your sense of taste lose your sense of smell you could still feel excuse me, you could be deaf or temporarily not able to hear. You're still going to be able to feel. I feel like the only thing, and this is what that article I was reading was getting at, the only thing that could really stop you from feeling is if you have a neurological disorder that connect disconnects your body, your brain from feeling stuff, or if you did. So your sense of touch is always going to be that one thing that can help bring you back to reality. So if you stuck in your brain, you keep overthinking something, you don't know how to get out. You don't know how to break, you know, just wherever your head may be at. Just try to touch yourself, like just anything, like squeezing your hands. Now, I want to say, I want to emphasize, don't, now don't do this out of anxiousness. Like don't do anxious behaviors, I should say. Like don't start biting your nails or, you know, don't start tap, 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 or, you know, tapping your foot and like that. Cause that's, that's anxious behavior. And you want to try to calm yourself down while you bring yourself to the present like yes that'll help but that's not really like i feel like that's not gonna put you in a p 
peaceful or a calm state of mind. So um, you wanna, like I said, massage your scalp, rub your own back, hold your hands, kiss your hands, rub your knees, massage your own feet, tootle your toes, your fingers, move your wrists around, anything. Just helps to engage, keep your physical body engaged so that you don't forget that this is where you are right now. You're not here, you're not in your brain, you're not in whatever situation, scenario you might be thinking about, making up that's not real or replaying that actually happened. You're not there, you're here right now. Engaging your physical body, engaging your sense of touch can really help bring you back to the present. Um, so yeah, just really with that um, touch and also something that helped for me is like affirmations. So like I just said, you not there. Wherever you think you at in your head, whatever you thinking about, whatever you obsessing about, whatever you you know, keep replaying in your mind or creating in your mind. Just literally tell yourself, this is not real. It's not real. I'm here right now. And you know, I'm not in my head. That's not real. Especially if it's, because that's something I've been doing a lot lately. And it, like I said, literally be thinking myself into moves that don't even need to be in. Because what I'm thinking about is not even real. It never happened. So it's like you sitting here, I'm sitting here thinking what ifs and what if this happened, what if this happened, making myself get upset. And it's like, that's not real. That never happened. It might not ever happen. The chances of it ever happening are slim to none. So why are you upset? You know, just if you stuck in your head, I'm here right now. This is not real. And like I said, just touch. If you got to dance, that's something else that helped me too. Especially if it's like, I'm feeling anxious instead of me biting my nails. I remember one time I was just, I was anxious sitting on my couch and I just got up and started dancing. Like literally just, just freestyling, just moving to help get that off me. And it also brought me back to the present because my anxiety was coming from my mind. I was thinking about, so I don't remember what I was thinking about, but it was, I was anxious. And you know, that, that anxious feeling, that anxiety typically comes from your brain, something you're thinking about in your brain. So if you, you know, engage your sense of touch, that's where your focus is gonna go. And it's like, oh, I'm here. I'm not here. I'm here. I'm here. And I'm real. I'm right. You feel me? What I might be feeling because of my thoughts is not my reality. So, you know, just help bring you back. And um, speaking of that, that is also something that really needs to be paid attention to with your thoughts. So if it's consistently negative thoughts that you're having, or if it's a situation you worried about and you know, you worry, oh, what if it ha happens like this? Or what if it happens like this? What if it happens like that? Like you create your reality. You do, you create your reality. So if it's a real situation that you're thinking about and you think about maybe the outcome, what you do, what you don't want, just remember you determine how that's gonna go. So if you consistently thinking about a negative outcome that's what you're going to attract. That's what you're going to bring us to reality because you create that reality. If you thinking something positive, you thinking positive outcome, then that's what's going to happen for you. So um, when it comes to that, just think about what you want. If you are in your head, if you are overthinking, think about what you want. Picture what type of life you want to see yourself living. Picture yourself reaching your goals picture what your goals look like for you versus you know oh what if this don't work out for me and what if i don't get this and what if i don't get this job and what if i can't pay this bill on time like picture what it looks like if you got all the money to pay that bill and some more and some for yourself picture what it look like if you do get that job that you want or even a better one you know so um this this is not gonna really be a long video for real but this yeah, I know a lot of people, because people be talking about it all the time. They overthink. They wish they get out their head. And I understand, especially lately. I understand 100,000%. Like, I be t I'm so tired of thinking about certain stuff. And I just be having to tell myself, like, that's not real. Get out your head. You're here right now. And, you know, touching yourself in any try non-anxious behaviors. Don't bite your nails. Don't start tapping and, you know, shaking and all that stuff, type of stuff, like, try like really just massage your body or like move something you know like if you got to do this if you sitting down and you in your head and you want to get out your head just start moving literally just start moving 
so um yeah um i think that was all i wanted to say so um oh breathing oh my god how did i forget the best way to bring yourself to the present is by breathing deep breathing inhale through your nose send it to your stomach instead of your chest and exhale out your mouth I have a video from one of our earlier um, Wellness Wednesdays videos on Instagram about meditation. So I'm gonna link that so y'all can watch that. But that is another immediate way to bring yourself to the present. Like, just start breathing deeply. That's instant. And then on top of that, if you doing that and engaging your physical sense of touch, you gonna be here. Help you get out your head. So um, this video helped you make sure you like it leave a comment if you got any other tips for people who overthink or have a hard time staying present um you know leave that down there and um yeah